The uh, WHO, that's the World Health Organization, receives vast amounts of money from the United States. And uh, we pay for a majority, the biggest portion of their money. And they uh, actually criticized and disagreed with my travel ban at the time I did it. And they were wrong. They've been wrong about a lot of things. And they had a lot of information early, and they didn't want to do very — they seemed to be very China-centric. They called it wrong. They called it wrong. They really — they missed the call. They could have called it months earlier. They would have known. And uh, they should have known. And they probably did know. So we'll be looking into that very carefully. And we're going to put a hold on money spent to the W. H.O., we're going to put a very powerful hold on it, and we're going to see. It's a great thing if it works, but when they call every shot wrong, that's no good. A quick follow-up on that. So is the time to freeze funding to the W.H.O. during a pandemic? No, maybe not. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but we're going to look at it. You did say that. You we give a tremendous — no, I didn't. I said we're going to look at it. We're going to investigate it. We're going to look at it. But we will look at ending funding. Yeah, to, because to, you know what? They called it wrong. And if you look back over the years, even, they're very much uh, — everything seems to be very biased toward China. That's not right. It's possible. And virtually every one of those companies is — we did have a problem with GM and Ventec. On the one hand — Did you see these memos that uh, reportedly Peter Navarro wrote back in January? When did you see them? And how does that — these memos sort of square with what you've often said, that nobody could have predicted this? It sounds like he was predicting. I didn't see him, but I heard he wrote some memos talking about pandemic. Uh, I didn't see him. I didn't look for him either. So at the time, though, when, when uh, Peter Navarro did circulate those memos, you were still downplaying the threat of coronavirus in the U.S. You were saying things like, I think it's a problem that's going to go away with the couple of days. It, go, it will go away. You said within a couple of days, the cases will be down to zero. Well, the cases really didn't build up for a while. But you have to understand, I'm a cheerleader for this country. I don't want to create havoc and shock and everything else. But ultimately, when I was saying that, I'm also closing it down. I obviously was concerned about it because I closed down our country to China, which was heavily infected.